Hello, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the vector cross product, which is kind of like another way of multiplying two vectors together, uh, sort of like the dot product and the scalar product, uh, except this is going to return another vector rather than a scalar. This is going to be quite a short video, uh, but if it is useful, please do like and subscribe. Okay, so we previously looked at the dot product or the scalar product, and we said that was kind of like a way of multiplying two vectors together. And when we did that, that returned a scalar. Now, the difference is the vector cross product is a similar way of kind of multiplying, you know, two vectors, except it's going to return a new vector. And this new vector has a very special property, okay? Um, so here we've got our two vectors, A and B. You can see here I've just given us two generic vectors. And we say we can cross A and B. So A cross B is the operation. And this is going to return a new vector, which is defined as this thing here. Now, this new vector that we get has a very special property where it is perpendicular to both the vector A and also the vector B. And I'm going to sort of draw a nice diagram, hopefully, to demonstrate this. So say we've got the vector A that's going to look something like this. Here's my vector A. And then I've got another vector B over here somewhere like this. The vector A cross B, okay, is going to be perpendicular to both. So it's going to look something like this. And it's going to be at 90 degrees to A and also 90 degrees to B. Hopefully that picture kind of shows you what this new vector is going to look like. So how can we show that this new vector A cross B is perpendicular to both? Well, what we could do is we could take vector A and dot it with this new vector A cross B. And if it equals zero, it's therefore going to be perpendicular to it. We could then do the same thing with vector B. We could do B dot the vector A cross B and show that also equals zero. So that's what we're going to do. So we're first going to do A dot a cross b so let's calculate this we're going to get a1 multiplied by i'm about to say a lot of numbers and letters a2 b3 minus a3 b2 plus a2 multiplied by a3 b1 minus a1 b3 plus a3 multiplied by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 I'm now going to expand this and I'm going to write it sort of in order. So I'm going to write it as A1, A2, B3 minus A1, A3, B2 plus A2, A3, B1 minus, I'm going to write it like this, A1, A2, B3, just so it's kind of easier to spot similar terms, you'll see in a second, plus A1, A3, B2 minus A2, A3, B1. Okay. Let's see if any of these cancel out. Hopefully you can spot that this term here is the same as this one here, and we're subtracting one from the other, so they're gonna cancel out. Uh, this term here, A1, A3, B2, is the same as this one here, but we've got a minus in front of it, so those two terms are gonna cancel out. And finally, A2, A3, B1 is gonna cancel out with this term here, and you can see everything goes to zero. And so the dot product of these two vectors is equal to zero, and therefore, the vector A is going to be perpendicular to A cross B. Let's now do the exact same thing, but with our vector B. So let's calculate the vector B dotted with the vector A cross B. So in a similar way, we're going to get B1 multiplied by A2 B3 minus A3 B2 plus B2 multiplied by A3 B1 minus A1 B3 plus B3 multiplied by A1, B2 minus A2, B1. Okay, let's expand this. So we're going to get uh, A2, B1, B3. Again, I'm writing these in order just to make it easier for me to spot terms that are going to cancel out. Minus A3, B1, B2 plus A3, B1, B2 minus A1, B2, B3 plus A1, B2, B3, minus A2, B1, B3. There we go. Let's see if any of these terms cancel out. So hopefully we can spot A2, B1, B3 is going to cancel out with this term here. Uh, we also have A3, B1, B2, or minus A3, B1, B2 is going to cancel out with this term here. So that's going to go to zero. And finally, A1, B2, B3 is going to cancel out with this term here. And so again, we've shown that this is equal to zero. And so therefore, the vector B is also going to be perpendicular to A cross B. 
So hopefully you can see why this new vector that we found in the, in the cross product is perpendicular to both. Uh, and in the next video, I'm going to show you some examples um, of proving or finding rather um, a perpendicular vector to two other vectors and also a line that is perpendicular to two other lines. Hopefully this was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where there's loads of other A-level math tutorials. Thanks for watching.